Hello Yano class, I hope you've been having lots of fun and been taking part in your activities at home. So today I've got a new activity for you. We're going to be making our own bird feeders with just a few simple ingredients that you can find in your house. So what you will need is some oats or any dried cereal, but it has to have no sugar. We can use some seeds. So today I'm going to be using some golden linseeds and some chia seeds, but you can use any seeds that you have at your house. Some grated cheese, some dried mixed fruit, an empty egg carton cut in half, a piece of string, a pair of scissors, a bowl and a couple of spoons. So what we're going to do first is we're going to grab our scissors. Now you will need a grown up to help with this part because it's going to be a tiny bit tricky. So we're going to place our scissors on this side of the egg carton and poke a hole that goes straight through. And then we're going to do the same on the other side like this. So now we've got two holes that we can now use to put our string through. So we're going to thread our string through our holes and I'm sure lots of you are familiar with this because we've been doing lots of threaded activities before we went home for Christmas if any of you remember. This part's a little bit fiddly so don't be afraid to ask your grown-ups around you for help. And then we're going to tie a knot you might have to tie it a few times so it doesn't slide back through the hole. That's what I'm going to do. So my bird feeder is nice and secure. I've tied one, two, three knots. Let's see if it's secure enough. There we go. I think that will do. And now I'm going to do the same thing through the other hole. You're going to have to concentrate super hard for this yellow class. One, two, three knots. So make sure you pull your knots nice and tight because you are going to hang these out. So you want them to be nice and secure for when the birds come to eat their yummy food that we're going to make. So look now, it's secure. So we can hang up our bird feeders. So now I'm going to show you how to make the mixture. And I also forgot to mention in the class that it's perfectly okay if you don't have all of these ingredients at home. As long as you have some, it will be fine because the birds will eat any of these things, but it's nice to have a mixture. So make sure that you've got tablespoons as well. So we're gonna put Three tablespoons of grated cheese. And then, oh, maybe I should cut this out and that would be easier. We're going to put three tablespoons of dried mixed fruit. You can use raisins or any dry fruit you've got in your house. Or if you don't have dry fruit actually yet at class, you can chop up some fresh fruit as well. And then I'm going to grab my seeds. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of each seed. So that's four tablespoons in total of seeds. I know my seeds are going everywhere. And then lastly, we're gonna put three tablespoons of our oats in.
And then we've got to mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Just like this. And look at my bird food. I think the birds are really going to love this. It's got all their favourite fruits in there. And it's very nutritious for the birds as well. Just like we need food for nutrition to make us big and strong. This is going to make the birds big and strong. And all we've got to do now is just pour some of our bird food into the individual holes. And that's it, yellow class. It's a simple, quick and easy way to make yummy, nutritious bird foods. There we have it. And you can hang these up, hang them up on some twine.